All right, so we got the scrap cart here, and we're gonna do something a little different with it. It uh, it still works and drives, but it's just not fun. So we're gonna change it up a little bit and make something more fun out of it. Second. Ready? Yeah. bit more and it's off. And I was beating the whole f thing over. That's why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, almost fixed the camera up. Alright, so we beat the hell out of it and got that wheel off. I don't know if you've seen <laughs> any of that on camera. But it didn't work well. Alright, so let's uh, cut the rest of Not cut through right there. Yeah. Alright, go ahead. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> My weight wasn't good. I guess we're uh, gonna be cleaning this shit, right? Yeah. This, what's that hitting on there? I just bent that whole side. That whole rail there, I just bent. It's out of here. Oh, 
So we got Matt here from Matt Charrington channel and uh, he gave us this GY6 engine. Uh, actually it's the whole rear end. Full so swap. Full swap. But I just want you to know where it came from. I'll put a link to his video. He put nitrous on this thing and uh, it held. It, it, it didn't held. blow up. It took, it took a 50, 50 shot. shot yeah, 50 horsepower hit of nitrous. It held just fine. I'll, I'll send you a little quick clip so you can put it in the video for him. Alright, cool. Yeah, and, uh, so you can go out, uh, put a link in the description or up here in the corner. You can uh, check out his channel and his videos. But, uh, we're gonna do something cool here with this. See what the hell you started now, Matt? <laughs> I had to try the blueberry. I tried the green one, the kiwi strawberry something. So this blue one's not bad. So we got the motor cut off of the scrap cart. And that's what's gonna go on it. This, uh, this here was just temporary just to see how it was going to fit. Now I cut the back end of this off. So, that's separate now. This is going to be the new back. This is going to have uh, bars that come up and then back so that the shocks can mount on it. So it's going to be a reverse trike, hopefully a drift trike if it has enough power, it should. If not, we can always put some nitrous back on it. So I'm going to weld some of these pipes here onto here. And we're going to get a rear frame section built so that we can mount this engine on it. Then we're going to get some shocks or do something about that. Alright, so we got a rear frame section started here. I'm going to move it over and try to bolt this engine to it. So, we'll see how that goes here in a second.
that'll work. Mm -hmm. Then I just need to make a couple shock mounts. That'll be pretty good. I go to the center of this pipe to the shock mount, it's 11 inches. Alright, so I got the engine mounted on there. That's kind of how it's going to be there. I'm going to have to uh, run some shocks from here to here. And I'm going to put a couple uh, gussets in here on both sides and then down here It's going to look pretty freaking good. The tire is nice and centered in there. Yeah, I think it's going to be freaking awesome. Alright, so we got a little more welding done. Got a couple more gusses to weld in here and right here and right there. And then a couple more welds along that pipe in the front.
Alright, so I picked up these uh, old shocks from the junkyard. Not, uh, not too bad, but they work good. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint these. I'm gonna paint them flat black. Alright, we got those all painted up, just flat black. So we'll go ahead and let those dry out, and then, uh, then we can get those put on. Alright, so I got the frame all done, pretty much. I welded the shock tabs on there, and bolted everything back together. I got some new bolts, so I don't have that big rod going through there no more. Um, that's when I realized that I shouldn't have made the shocks at that angle because it's pretty easy to push down and the shocks aren't really compressing as much as they're moving the engine up here. So, I think to fix that I'm going to have to move these shock mounts back a little bit, a couple inches or something, so it changes the angle of how they're sitting. So it's coming along, at least it's a, it's a roller now. So that's probably going to be it for right now. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks for watching. Make sure you go over to Matt's channel and check him out. Uh, it was pretty awesome he gave us that engine.